Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today's video is going to be the next part of the rattlesnake series. We're going to cover the genus Sestrurus, which is the pygmy rattlesnakes and the Mossasagas. Now this is in the genus Crotalus, so it's not a Sestrurus, but I don't have one. And I actually have very few footage, so just a couple pictures and even less videos of Carolina pygmy rattlesnake and dusky pygmy rattlesnake. So I don't have any footage of the Massasagas, so we'll see how this video goes. Anyways, if you're new here, post videos on venomous snakes, if that's something you enjoy, please subscribe. And also, before we get started, I'm a trained professional. Don't do anything you see here at all on my channel. So Sestrurus, venomous pit vipers that contain the pygmy rattlesnakes and Massasagas. Now these are endemic to Canada, to United States, and to Mexico. And like I said, they're all pit vipers. They all have the heat sensing pits. And in the first rattlesnake video, we mentioned why they are classified in a different genus separate from Crotalus. At this point, the DNA analysis is what shows the difference, but also at that time, previously before DNA analysis, it was basing it on appearances. So things like size, the differences in size, but also the scale count. The Sestrurus have nine large head plate scales, same as actually the Echistrodon genus, which has the cantiles, copperhead and cottonmouth, same as them, nine large head plate scales. But those in Crotalus have many smaller scales on their head. So that's big difference right there, the scales. So I don't know too much about pygmy rattlesnakes or Massasagas, so I'm gonna do the best I can. I believe there's two species, so the Massasagas and pygmy rattlesnakes. And within those two species, there's three subspecies in each. So the Massasagas have three subspecies, the pygmy rattlesnakes have three subspecies. And those are all listed here. Now for this part, I'm just going to show some footage of just the sidewinder rattlesnake and throw in the footage I do have of a dusky pygmy rattlesnake and Carolina pygmy rattlesnake as I go over some facts about each of these species and subspecies. Sestrurus cantonatus. They range from southern Ontario through parts of some of the United States down to northern Mexico. And they're small species. They feed on some centipedes, reptiles, mammals, even other snakes sometimes. The babies will typically feed on reptiles such as lizards, and then the adults will feed on smaller mammals, smaller rodents, for instance. Now the venom of the Massasaga is cytotoxic. The small size and small venom yield, therefore, makes them not as dangerous compared to the large crotalus. Still seek medical attention if you're bit. Now I'm just gonna do a voiceover for a part of this. So going to the subspecies of the Massasaga, the Sestrusrus, Cantonatus Cantonatus, which is the eastern Massasaga, is found in the United States in central and western New York, western Pennsylvania, north and central Ohio, northern Indiana, lower Michigan, Illinois, southern and southwestern Wisconsin, southeastern Minnesota, eastern Iowa, and northeastern Missouri. And in Canada, they're found in southern Ontario. It's actually classified to be in its own species. So, 
that must that might mean that there's three species of Cistrurus, and this classification under subspecies might be might not be valid anymore. I'm unsure of that. Cistrurus cantonatus edwardsi, the desert massasaga. They're found in the United States in southeastern Arizona, central and southern New Mexico, western Texas. In Mexico, they're found isolated populations, northeast region bordering Texas. Cistrurus cantonatus tergeminus, the western Massasaga. They're found in the United States and southeastern Nebraska, northwestern Missouri, eastern and central Kansas, western and central Oklahoma, northern and central Texas. Cistrurus malarius malarius, the Carolina pygmy rattlesnake. They're found in eastern North Carolina, southern South Carolina, through Georgia, and central Alabama. Now, this is a small species as well, growing to about 16 to 24 inches. Their habitat is typically in wooded areas, sand hills, flood plains, and they can also be found near lakes and marshes. Now, their tiny little rattle is very hard to hear unless you're very close. Now, similar to the Massasaga, they'll eat mammals, small mammals, insects, frogs, lizards, and centipedes as well. And they'll even use their tail as a lure, similar to that of some other viper species that wiggle it like a worm to attract their prey. Cistrurus malarius barbori, the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. They're found in South Carolina, Southern Georgia, all of Florida, Southern Alabama, Southeastern Mississippi. And they're small as well, about 14 to 30 inches. And their venom, I mentioned in the previous video on rattlesnakes, used for stopping heart attacks. So it's cytotoxic venom. The drug name is eptifibidate. Can't pronounce it. And it prevents clotting during a heart attack. Cistrurus malarius stracari, the western pygmy rattlesnake. Now these are found in Mississippi, Louisiana, East Texas, southeastern Oklahoma, Arkansas, southern Missouri, and southwestern Tennessee. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next up, we'll be going over the genus Crotalus. Love you all. Subscribe if you're new. Take care, everyone.